Testing has been done. Game seems to be working fine. Crypt Custodian. The full release begins now. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Difficulty modes. Affect boss and enemy reaction times and attack patterns. And also determine the time permitted in time challenges. We'll go with normal for now. It can be changed at any time during the pause menu. I find it very interesting that the game has not launched with version... 1.0 <laughs> it has launched with 0.9666 or whatever it was kitty your nine lives are gone kitty fall to the underworld <laughs> Just plosive straight into the microphone there. Sorry about that. Hello? Hello? Oh, you're awake. My name's Pip, and I will be your guide to the palace. Wait, what? The palace? I was just outside on the street. Where am I? Oh, well, the palace is the most beautiful, beautiful even, part of the afterlife. But we aren't there yet. This is just the entryway. It's where all new ghosts first land. G ghosts? So I'm dead? Oh, well, yeah. Sorry, I should have led with that part. Well, don't worry too much about that just yet. We have to get moving. Nearby is Kendra. She's the guardian of the afterlife. You'll have to make your way to her chambers, and she will listen to your life story and determine whether or not you could enter the palace. Good ghosts go to the palace, where they experience never-ending bliss. And bad ghosts are banished to live outside the palace for all eternity. Come on, you should get going. Game saved. So in order to get to the palace, we have to go this way, which is actually not the way the palace is. The palace is the other way. But we can't get to it. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, that doesn't work. There we go. It was it was recognising something different. I think it was trying to recognise it as a dual, 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 dual shock controller. It's not a dual shock controller. So what's it like inside the palace? Oh, well, oh, I'm actually not sure. I've never been inside there. You haven't? Are you bad or something? Uh, I guess I must have been, because Kendra said so. But instead of banishing me to live outside the palace, she sent it to me to be a guide for all eternity. You see, Kendra can be very strict, but also very fair. She makes the rules, and she always sticks to them, no matter what. I find it interesting, actually, that when you're talking to these guys, it says press square. Continue. You can press X as well. I'm sure she'll let you into the palace. She's bound to let someone in there one of these days. Something tells me the palace might be full. So let us grab the broom. You found a broom? Swing it. I'm pressing X. Now, since I know from the demo and me attempting to do a no breaky things run you can't actually get to kendra without smashing some stuff so there's no point not smashing stuff you are going to get stuck outside the palace whether you like it or not so we may as well smash every single in the vicinity though I think I think doesn't stuff respawn if you leave the screen anyway let's test that that's worth a test yes it does so basic statuary Uh, 
it's it's all worth destroying once unless there's maybe some random random stuff beneath the pots in which case you probably don't need to smash stuff more than once no if there's random stuff you do need to smash stuff more than once if there's stuff underneath we smash stuff and to be fair it feels good to smash stuff. Um, let me rephrase that. The, f the amount of feedback you get in the video game for pressing the square button, attacking things and smashing things in the video game feels good. Hey, you made it. Endless Chambers right inside here. Just be on your best behaviour because you really don't want to be on her bad side. I like the fact that it's got a Kendra-shaped hole, including the fact that this bit here actually has got collision. I wonder whether there's a, a counter. Oh yeah, there's a, a ground smash. Oops. Not an invisible wall there, then. Hey, Kendra! I smashed all your stuff! Oh, hey, little guy. It's so nice to see another fresh face around here. Oh, yeah, the famous Kendra, guardian of the afterlife. It's my job to determine whether you've been good or bad. Oh, and sorry that you died and all that, by the way. That just makes me so sad. This over here is the door that leads to the palace. Those allowed in the palace experience never-ending bliss. If you've been good... I'll let you inside. And this door leads outside of the palace. You really do not want to be sent out this door. Well, love chit chat. Let's take a look at your life. Look. No. Aww. This says you were born as a stray and you had a brother and a sister. So cute. And then, it seems like you were adopted by a nice couple. They took really good care of you. You love to sleep and get pets. Wow, I'm having a really good feeling about this one. Pip, can you please prepare the palace door for opening? Anyways, let's continue. And then, one night, it seems like you escaped from your home, ran into the street and... You poor thing. Well, I guess that settles it then. You were a very good cat. I have no choice but to let you into the palace. Or... Huh. Wait a second. There seems to be another page. <gasps> this says that after you died, you landed here in the palace entry and you smashed some of my statues. This is just awful. I'm afraid that you have been a very bad cat. And as punishment, you will be banished outside of the palace for eternity. Wait, I didn't mean to do it. I just thought that's what I was supposed to do. Eh, you thought you were supposed to break my statues. Sorry, that excuse is not going to cut it. I do feel for you though. If you think this sucks for you, just think about how I feel. I'm the one who has to live with the guilt of sentencing you to eternal torture. Ah, well, enough wallowing. It's time to go. Oh, because you created such a mess, I'm also sentencing you to be the afterlife janitor. Forever! Now hold on to that boom. Now it's time to leave. Please exit on the door to your left. Well, shit. Guess no palace for us. Right, welcome to the Weeping Wastes. So this is a, a, a look at our map. We can scroll. We can zoom in and out. So this is uh, the, the mini-map version. This is the actual version. You can't go any further than this, but you can place up to 50 markers, it seems. I find it interesting that it's not actually... <laughs> I don't know whether this is a mistake. Uh, it's not actually quite aligned to... ...do the thing. Um, but at least we've got a variety of options. How, how much I will use it? I don't know. So... We have currency that can be obtained. B. 
big statues cannot destroy with boom. Hot enemy can destroy with boom. Save points. Game saved. So we can teleport to wherever we want from the save points, which I appreciate. We can also change our equipment. At least we could do. But we haven't got anything to do any of that with yet. This is the bar. If I remember correctly, I think it was a bar. We can't get in there, nor can we get up those steps without... That bird power or whatever it was we need, I can't remember. I can't even rem remember actually when it was that I played the demo of this. It's certainly been a while. But I very much liked its kind of almost cozy vibes. Oh no! Oh, I remember! I had an issue, didn't I? When I played this, I had an issue with the audio. Everything got really messed up with the audio. I think it may have been something to do with um, Steam auto starting the video or something in the background because I've been looking at the trailer page. It's not supposed to do that because I've got autoplay set to off, but uh, I think that created an issue. <gasps> A thing. Oh yeah, I can't zoom in. That's going to take some getting used to, actually. Okay, you can just leap over those. Oh, dear lord. Oh, I've died. There were things that were exploding. First death. There's going to be a lot of those, incidentally. I'm not very good. It'll take me a while to get used to how avoidance works. is marked on the map. Oh, damn it. No. Roll early. I'm not going to say roll often, because... Okay, so they act as a key... Ooh. What 
much is this stuff? Is, what is our currency? Our janitor books. <gasps> well, the subject of a key. We can now... We have completed our first Metroidvania loop. You have to interact with it to, uh... To refill your health. The Sinner's Inn. I was correct, it wasn't in. Hello, crowbird thing. Hey, kid. Welcome to the Sinner's Inn. How's it going? I mean, kind of bad, actually. I just died and got sentenced to clean for all eternity. Haven't we all? Well, if it makes you feel better, it's actually not too bad here. If you ask me, those bad ghosts are more fun anyways. A Mola, by the way. I sell all sorts of things here, so whenever you collect enough garbage, make sure to stop back in here and buy something. I'll tell you what, as a welcoming gift, I'll even sell you your first special attack at a massive discount. Cool, super sweet. Go on and pick it up. One. Creates a spinning circle of brooms around you. Both special attacks and upgrades need to be equipped at save shrines. There's one just outside. When you attack enemies, the vessel at the top left of your screen will fill up. When it's full, a circle, use your special attack. Remember to head to the nearest shrine to equip your new attack. You can teleport between shrines, so be sure to come back and visit whenever you collect more garbage to spend. What can I get for you? So, Spirit's Buffer creates a circle around you that hurts nearby enemies, requires four points. Makes attacks 30% stronger at full health. Increases your movement speed. Gets you an additional health point upgrade. Briefly gives you invincibility. Requires five points. That's a special attack. So they require a chunk of stuff. Right, are these one-time use things, or... I assume those are one-time use things. Jukebox! VIP lounge. Bouncer. I am uniquely scared of you, small mouse. This is a cat. Um... The fact that we can change this implies that it's going to... Yeah. <gasps> yeah, so it's added that to the map, but just that, unless, unless there are other things. Oh, yeah. Safe Shrine, special attack. Do the thing that you were told to do, Damogen. Bog? Bog. So we want to be collecting all the dirt. Which fortunately does magnets towards you, so. Will you let Kendra for afterlife overseer? No, I don't think I will. Hmm, not moving across there then. It's all very cosy, isn't it? Uh, upgrade point. 
Collecting upgrade points allows you to equip more upgrades from a save shrine. Each upgrade requires a specific number of points. You now have five. I just realised we don't actually have any kind of inventory at, you know, out in the world. So I don't think we do. No, it doesn't look like we do. Just to spite Kendra, I'm going to destroy all the things. Good, Demogen. Everybody knows that's not likely to happen. I am the epitome of skill issue. <gasps> Jukebox disc. I really like the combat music. Gotcha. Hmm, don't get a, uh, a health refill or anything. Would quite like. Or save points. Ooh. A mysterious cave. Shrine. Ooh. Oh dear. Somebody has fallen. Hey! Sorry to scare you. I was just up in the rafters sweeping up some grime. This whole cavern is a shrine dedicated to Pearl, the most beautiful frog to ever live. I'm a bit embarrassed to see it get so dirty, so I'm trying to clean the whole place up. Oh, so you were a janitor too? No, I'm just a frog. <laughs> but Kendra did sentence me to clean up the afterlife for all eternity. She sentenced everyone to the same fate. Although most of the ghosts just stopped cleaning after a while. Well, anyways, my name's Pebble, and I'll be around here cleaning for a bit, so I'll see you around. So much grime! You Muppets! 
What did I not do? Should have picked up the save point first. Why did I not? If you said it's because you're an idiot, Demogen, you would be 100% correct. Fortunately, with my keen sense of direction, <coughs> nobody's buying that, Demogen. That being said, even I can manage that kind of routing. Let's hit the save points. Idiots. It's incredibly fun, by the way, to get around using this uh, Grand Smash. Like that. Right, there's a lock symbol. Hmm. Lock symbol on the minimap. Doesn't actually align with. I can't reach over there. Giant block door thing. Oh, I guess we're going this way. <gasps> Dirt, filth, clean it all. What the? Oh, these things. Yes, I remember this. This needs to go that way, was it? Ah ha ha. Uh... Oh no! Walks right into that, because I'm stupid! Winning. I'm become win. Cleaner of worlds. I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> oh. I think not. Bell type thing. Should be noted that we do not seem to be able to. roll ourselves off platforms which is incredibly handy because <laughs> you'll know I'd be doing that otherwise uh, right where are you going you're going over here Crunchy sound effects. Oh, that's just sent me round. In a circle. Because my sense of direction is amazing. I'm assuming there will be something that uh... Yeah, 
Yeah, see that. Ah. What? Was there an ability or something? We can just bounce it. As long as we give ourselves the time. Oh dear. Is there a penalty for that? I don't think there's a penalty for death. Not sure. There's a thing there. It's not this time, bugs. Okay, must remember, still need to check distance and stuff when doing the special attack. I like the little symbol that appears over our heads to show us that our... Our meter is full. Oh! Wasn't actually expecting to be able to do that. Dirt! I have this key. But wait. Oh, interesting. That is blocked. Greedy points. Right, why? Ah, I just didn't leave. That's why. Aha! A photo! Oh, Pebble! Pebble lived with Pearl in a rainy bog. Oh, there is a stat screen and stuff. Oh yeah, I just press right and left on the map, don't I? I'm an idiot. Shocking, I know. 34 minutes, 2% complete. 1 out of 20 discs. 0 out of 20... 
Mossy jars? Two out of three, whatever those are. Oh, damn it. Wasting my meter. Right, let us return. That's one less now than it was previously. Open! Hey! I just love this statue. I think it looks just like her. Did you know her? I did. And I miss her so much. You see, in frog culture, dying is one of the saddest things that can happen to someone. And now that I'm dead, I worry about her a lot. I just hope she's okay. Demogen's immediate impulse. Look at this beautiful statue. I will smash it. Ooh. going oh that sends you huh oh that didn't work at all <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Just send it ricocheting off into the uh, the middle distance. Yes, there's a very satisfying feel to breaking stuff, which is quite important if that's what you're going to be doing the majority of uh, the game. Uh oh! Oh, this is uh. Hitbox on that. Okay. I don't think I opened up any kind of. We've had. It's not like it's a distance. The runbacks aren't huge. Right. Ooh. 
just being a little bit more careful. That was not careful! Right, so it's got a stinger. Nope. <laughs> Even marks the fire on the platforms. Uh, where am I going? Where's that? Apparently. Right, you can't hit it. Uh... Assuming this platform was what was started by that. Mines. Leave a trail of mines behind you that hurt enemies who step on them. Special attacks can be equipped at safe shrines. Okay. Landmines. I assume we can only equip one at a time. So it's either the big spinny attack, which feels pretty good to use. Alternates, don't they? Oh, crunchy. Aha. I can, uh, map is big. I think this is Pebble's room. Looks like she dropped it. Oh, Pebble! What has become of you, Pebble? Oh. Oh! Boss time? Oh! Oh, oh lovely. No, do not want. Okay, so there's too many of them to uh Nope. 
No, whoa! Swog into that. Yes, okay. I need to get, uh... I need to get better at realising my character's hitbox. I assume it's the ring on our feet. I feel like I need more range to make up for my uh, considerable lack of skill. Turn it out of its attacks. Frighteningly poor play. A pot full of spiders. Bubble. Are you okay? <gasps> yeah, I think so. I was just trying to clean some grime off that pot and I guess I fell in. I should probably go outside a bit anyways. Being here in the shrine for too long always brings me down. You know, I don't mind being stuck outside the palace most of the time. I wish I could go inside just once so I could see Pearl again. Wait, I thought you said she was still alive. Is she in the palace? Oh, you don't know? There is something very special inside the palace. It's a mirror made of crystal soul. Any ghost who steps inside the mirror can visit Earth again for just a moment. The living won't be able to see you, but you can at least feel their presence again. And maybe they can feel yours as well. But I guess it's not really worth thinking about things like that. After all, we're stuck out here forever, so use, getting to use the crystal mirror is totally impossible. I guess I should just get back to cleaning then. Thanks again for helping me back there. <gasps> I got a thing! A new friend! Oh. Oh, and I have something for you, by the way. It's in the room just north of here. You can go and grab it. A gift. An extra life! health. Oh no, an ability. Air dash. I saw one while in the air to air dash. The dodge roll has been replaced with a much quicker ground dash and your stamina refill time has been drastically improved. You are vulnerable while dashing. The plaque reads, Dear Pearl, may we see you together again someday. Love, Apple. Oh. We now have greater distance. Ah. 
Lovely. Oh, yes, you can get quite a distance. <laughs> quite. I don't know what that was. Quite a distance. Quite. Boss Rush. Boss Rush mode has been unlocked from the main menu. Any boss that has been defeated in game can be replayed in this mode. There's a thing that I probably won't use. Because I don't like boss rush modes. But no. It's not that I don't like boss, bo boss rush modes. It's that I like defeating bosses in the context that they were originally in. If that makes sense. Instant fast travel. Hey, little bird. So funny seeing you here. Oh, yeah, I was going to say the same. What are you doing here? Don't you live in the palace? I sure do. I'd like to come out here and see how all you bad ghosts live. Keeps me humble. Oh, by the way, I was wanting to talk to you about the whole me doing you for eternity thing. I just wanted to know that there's no hard feelings, on my end at least. So I was hoping we could just, like, get over it. Uh huh. Okay, I get you. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yoink. Ready for battle? Equip a special attack? Uh, did that already. Yeah, so that that's a selection. And this is, it's essentially a, I'm going to say it, aren't I? It's a charm from Hollow Knight menu type system kinda kinda right um we've all d <laughs> what is with my pronunciation oh i can just i can just travel um we've already been to a fair number ah you can't reach me oh never mind chat shit demogen Defeat 100 enemies. Yeah, it's definitely much snappier. I like the way they uh they disappear. Ash all the things. Ooh, hello. Uh not reaching that. So many decisions. I like the hint at platforms beneath us. Oh. 
The, uh, the combat is fun. It's very simplistic. Right now, at least. But it's entertaining. And obviously, the, the nature of how these rooms are put together. Uh -huh. Defeat a horde of enemies without... Oh, no. dead your mind treasure chest upgrade points nice oh, it just keeps on going I, I keep thinking I look at the map and think hmm I'll just venture down this way and then it just goes and it goes and it goes and it goes Pretend that you didn't see what I was probably likely to do there. Oh, didn't I have... Yes, I had an extra ability point. Doesn't matter because we've only got one thing to equip right now. I feel like there's going to be so many little things out in the middle of nowhere. Oof. <laughs> That's incredibly satisfying for something so simple. This doesn't look like it goes any further that way. Totally planned. Upgrade point acquired. See that? Absolutely masterful platforming. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Um, mm. We could go down and connect this back up, or... Delicious beat downs. Uh, what now? Defeat. Oh, yeah, cursy things. A trail of spikes will follow behind you. Defeat 10 enemies to remove the curse. Rewards and upgrade points.
obviously don't stand spikes Find some enemies to kill. <laughs> How's your banishment going? Pretty good, actually. I've made a couple of friends already. Huh. Well, I'm afraid that is a bit of a problem. You see, I didn't banish you out here so you can make friends. I banish you so you can clean forever. Enough because you were bad. So maybe focus more on the cleaning and less on making friends. This isn't an amusement park, you know. It's meant to punish you. So please, stop having fun. Okay. Not going that way then. Wanting to buy <laughs> enemies to defeat. Sign says, do not go to the east edge of Weeping Race. I'm doing something bad. Don't tell Kendra. Okay, so it doesn't always. Interesting. Uh, hello. Oh, it's Grandfather Grub. Okay. I oh, mean, he's been marked on our map, so. Oh, another one. Enemies will create a dangerous blast bomb. Does it fit enemies? Oh, that's not so bad. This one's less, uh... Oh, we're here. Okay. Um... So, I don't think... Yeah, in fact, it, our, our health thing is locked. Just, um, just pretend. Just pretend I'm even vaguely good at video games. And, uh, you and me will we'll get on fine. Are these things marked on the map? They're not. <laughs> oh, another one. Q. 
Kitty. Ah. Oh, shit. Good at this. Ah, oh, I was getting close to the uh, the end as well. <sighs> and I assume these upgrade points are, are a thing that we're going to want. So. Taking us somewhere I've already been, isn't it? But how much of it I've already seen? Here's another matter entirely. bridge over there that we didn't go to was it because we couldn't reach could have been because we couldn't reach could have been just because I didn't go this way Requires a clapperboard key. Okay. I don't know what one of those is. Something to do with the cinematic? Is it a story related unlock or something like that? Hmm. Do we get a... We got an upgrade slot for that. Yeah, it's interesting that we, we can tell... Mm. Right. Haunted Helper. Ooh. Oh no, I don't have the cash. 
Uh, right, oops, damn it. So we'll save up for that. Uh, take a look over here. Oh, hey, look. I don't think so, spinny thing. <gasps> mm, delicious. What do I need? I needed 3,100, didn't I? Oh, just too late. Yeah, another cat. Oh, no, not yet. Kitty. Nice. This is a nice, cosy... Cozy experience. Okay, it's, it's not without its challenge. Especially if you're dumb. Like moi. Uh oh. The sign says, get out, Grizz. I'm sorry, Grizz, I can't do that. Hmm. Apparently, Grizz doesn't want to be disturbed. I'm here. Mark. Give me a friend. <gasps> Better broom. <laughs> we have a tiny friend. Right, uh, we were over this way, weren't we? It, it, in, oops, in some ways it's like, ah, oh, it feels like it's an awfully long way back to where I just died, but actually, whilst the map seems large, we've got quite a lot. Of maneuverability. There is a way up there. I thought there would be. Oops. Spiky demise? 
Enemies explode upon death. Hidden out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Huh. Cool little challenge, I like that. What's th what's that for? I don't know what that little heart symbol is for. <laughs> the spoot is angry. And this is just a chunk that... Okay, let's just take us around the loop. I mean, we can go and see what Gris doesn't want us to see. Hey! Did you read my signs? You're not supposed to be here. Oh, yeah, sorry, I've been on a bit of a bad streak recently. <laughs> yeah, same. So I'm gonna bust out of here. Right behind this fence is an entrance to the palace. I'm digging a hole under it, then I'm going to break in and steal the crystal mirror. Not fair that all the ghosts in the palace get to use it, and I don't. Hey, that sounds cool. I want to come. No? Well, I was kind of thinking it'd be a solo mission. One ghost can enter the palace and notice, but with two ghosts, might be an issue. Oh, okay. If you change your mind, let me know. Huh. <laughs> you know, two ghosts entering might be suspicious, but we've got a, if we've got a whole bunch of ghosts, then that's an ambush. There's no way Kendra can stop a big group of us. Say, we have a bunch of friends you can bring with us. Uh, no, not really. I'm pretty new here. All right, well, maybe later, if we can get a big group together, we can escape. I'm Grizz, by the way. I'll see you around, I'm sure. A plan forms? Meet Grizz. Return to Grizz when you've made ten friends. Okay. That's gonna oh god it, that's now 20 minutes of recording because for some reason i'm just not very good at this whole hmm, try and keep these episodes under an hour i'm pretty certain that was a good chunk more than we saw in the demo but i really can't remember where the demo ended very calming very chill very demure very mindful i'm enjoying this 
I'm not very good at it, but it's good. Game good, damage and not. The age old story. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this look at and impressions, such as they are, of Crypt Custodian, a game that I already probably decided I was going to enjoy, but it turns out I enjoy. Gasp, shock, horror, etc., etc. Have a fab day, folks. I'm a, uh, I'm a little bit, a little bit intrigued by uh, the fact that this scrolls quite a lot to try across. Does it scroll any farther to the left? There, see, that's the left edge. That's the top edge. That's the bottom edge. But. And obviously, I don't know how much further it's going. Seems like quite a useful map. Have a good day. Cheerio! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time... Cheerio.